Hi, uh, this is Tai Lu doing demo for the uh, time tracking app. Okay, uh, here is the button with a plus sign. We can add uh, a timer. For example, uh, live demo one. We add native. Okay, then we can start the timer. We can add another one, uh, for example, live demo two. We add native, create. Okay. So uh, and after you create, uh, we can uh, we can update. Okay, let's change to demo. Right, still running. Okay, after start, we can start. Then we start. Okay, or we can remove this timer. All right, uh, so that's the simple app uh, tracking, time tracking. So next we are going to look at the component, component hierarchy. Okay, so all the, all the object, uh, all the um, class, Oh, oh, all the files, JavaScript file is under the screen timers subdirectory. So uh, the top level is the timer screen. And uh, in the component did month, uh, we set up a uh, set interval. So it will update the state, the timers, the timers uh, every second and then we have the handle create form submit so that's create a new timer and we have the handle form submit that's the uh, update uh, for the timer and uh, we have the handle remove press uh, that's to that is used to remove the timer okay All right, so uh, in the uh, component hierarchy, so basically uh, we pass the, uh, the function uh, uh, in the prop to the, uh, to the below uh, classes. And uh, when user click the button, then uh, uh, the function call will be reversed uh, to the top and then uh, update the timer in the state. So that's the component hierarchy. Okay, next uh, we are going to uh, go through some uh, coding essentials. So first one for Boolean props. So if it's, uh, the default value is true, And uh, score view, uh, it renders all of its component at once, okay, even those not currently show in the screen, okay. So if we want to render uh, only the, um, com uh, the component that we can see in the screen, uh, we should use a flat list. And we can use the ternary operator to set the value of a variable. Uh, for example, um, so if we have the ID, then uh, we will show the update. Otherwise, uh, if ID is a null, then we will show create. Uh, next one is uh, UUID V4 uh, can be used to randomly uh, generate a universal unique ID. We like uh, we use uh, in the new timer function, the new timer function. 
Uh, next in arrays, the spread operator will expand the uh, array uh, like below. So if we have uh, A array and B array, and uh, we use da 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 A, da 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 B, then it will be expanded. Uh, okay, in objects, uh, the spread operator will allow you to create a modified version. So for example, if we have the uh, da 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 coffee, then it will uh, expand. Uh, but the uh, the after uh, we can change it uh, the the milk to uh, from false to true. So we use da 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 first, then we use the mod modify um, uh, data. Uh, next one is the um, uh, we use the spread operator uh, to add a new array object to avoid mutating state. So basically, we shouldn't change the state. Uh, so we need to avoid uh, mutating uh, the state. So something like this. So we can create a new timer. So the, the timer will be returned. Uh, the timer object uh, will be returned. And then uh, we add the, the, the other uh, timer using a da da da. Uh, okay. Next one, we can use the map, the arrays uh, map function to update the the attribute. For example, for example, in the handle form submit, um, we map the uh, ID, and then we modify the title and the project. Okay. If it's not matching, then we return the uh, the original time timer. Uh, next is that we can use the arrays uh, filter to return a new array containing all the event that pass the test. So in the handle remove uh, remove press. So if it's uh, not uh, equal to the ID, will be returned. Okay, so that's use the filter. Okay, uh, the last one is the set interval uh, we have in the component did mount. So, um, so, so basically, uh, uh, every one second. Uh, so this is one thousand uh, millisecond. Time interval is one thousand uh, millisecond. So that means every one second. It will update the uh, the state. Okay, so if it's running, uh, if the states uh, the 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 timers uh, elapse is running, uh, then we will add uh, one thousand. Otherwise, uh, don't change the value. Uh, and we can uh, clear the interval uh, when the uh, component will unmount. Okay, uh, okay, that's it. Uh, thank you. You have a nice day. Bye.